Yes. Yeah. Something to recommend to the House and the Senate for, uh, for, a, vote, for a floor vote. Monday or Tuesday. To get a final vote? In, the, the in this committee. Yes. yes. When then there'll be a layover, you know, in the House and the Senate. So when, people can write stories and have, uh, you know, broadcasts and so on while we peruse it ourselves and prepare ourselves for action. <laughs> so in terms of how much money you think you have left to play with, we don't play with money. We're very serious. Well, <laughs> in, in whatever conservative approach you take, what, you know, how much money do you see from today that you have to work with? Yeah, that's, that's our assignment. Uh, our homework assignment is to figure that out. I don't think we can walk away you know, from just having received this testimony and, and have a plan. We have to, we have, they, they are a little different, and we need to you know, figure out what what they mean to what our work is going to be in the next few days. Exactly. We need to take a, the projected figures of both urban and LLC, study them to see what how they're combined, we have to, how we take a look at them to see what is which. The Medicaid funding spending levels, we need to take a take a look at that and see how that blends in with, with any revenues coming in. That's the, the Tim and LLC reports. So this this takes a little more work in progress for us to get a clear handle on this where we stand. So I got We haven't decided anything yet. We just have to study them to figure out really what they mean in the terms of the overall context. Am I correct, though, if the Senate budget is based on the LSC numbers now, and it sounded like the numbers that came from LSC today were pretty flat, relatively flat, where is there any additional money? Well, you can do it now. I got to leave, too. That's what we have to take a look at. So you, you, you have said that if there is additional money, um, you, you, you would like to see about tax cuts in education. Is that still where you are? I think that's, in our chamber, again, our top priorities were, as I said earlier, job creation, making Ohio a better place to do business. And part of that is elements of tax cut. And the House has done both of their tax cuts on that, as well as workforce development education. And uh, the, the House all, you know, the House did a good job putting down the education budget. Our education budget, as you know, you've heard the numbers before, the largest increase in a decade, 11% increase over two years. So I would think the preference, and I can't speak for my caucus, we have to, as we work this through, I'll get the number of my caucuses, the conference committee discussions. But, you know, we made a clear, we made a pretty strong, clear statement that and those were our priorities. Why Ron just said that for us as well as we used to.